Good morning students. In the previous video, we have covered chapter number 2, numbers up to 10,000, page number 13 till 20. Now, we will be covering successor of a number, right? What is successor of a number? The number that comes just after a particular number is called the successor, right? The successor of a number is one more than the number. The successor of 26 is 27 or it can also be calculated by adding 1. That is, I'll write 1's tens. I'll write 26. That is 1's and 10's. So, I'll write 6 under 1's, 2 under 10's. I'll add 1. So, that will be 6 plus 1 would be 7. I'll write 7 here and 2 is 2. So, my successor of a number 26 will be 27. Right? Similarly, the successor of 953 will be 954. What comes after 953? That is 954. So, that is 954 is the successor of 953. Else, we can also uh, do it by adding 1 to 953. Right? What is the predecessor of a number? Successor is what comes after a number. Predecessor is the number that just that comes just before a particular number. Right? Successor is after. Predecessor is before. Right? The predecessor is a number which is 1 less than the number. The predecessor of 49 is 48. What comes before 49? That is 48. The predecessor of 836 is 835. What comes uh, before 836? That is 835. Or we can also find it out by subtracting 1 from 836. That is, I'll write 1 stands 100. I'll write 1 stands 100. I'll write 6 under 1's place. 3 under 10's place. 8 under 100 place. I'll subtract 1. That is 6 minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I'll subtract 1, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So that will, I'll write my 5 here. 3 is 3 and 8 is 8. So my predecessor of 836 will be 835. Right? Remember, 0 has no predecessor, right? Because there is no number that comes before 0. So, 0 has no predecessor. Now, there are few examples in which you have to find the successor of the following, right? The successor is the number that comes afterwards or it can be, uh, find, it can be calculated by adding plus 1. So, the successor of 379 is, can be obtained by adding 1 to the number. That is, I'll write 0, 10s, 100. I'll write, sorry, I'll write 1, 10s, 100. I'll write 1, 10s, 100. I'll write 3 under 100 place, 7 under 10s place, 9 under 1s place. I'll write plus 1. So, 9 plus 1 will be 10. I'll write 0 here. 1 is a carried over. 7 plus 1 will be 8. So, I'll write 8 here and then 3 is 3. So, my answer is 380. Right? Similarly, there is B part which says we have to find the successor of 1 to 0, 7. Right? So, I'll write 1, 10, 100, 1000. Again, successor is obtained by adding 1 to this number. So, I'll write 1, 10, 100, 1000. I'll write 1 under 1000 place, 2 under 100 place, 0 under 10's place, 7 under 1's place. And then I'll add 1. Right? That is 7 plus 1 will be 8. So, I'll write 8. 0 as 0, 2 as 2, 1 as 1. So, my number is 1, 2, 0, 8. And we can also cross check that the numbers which come after 1, 2, 0, 7, that would be 1, 2, 0, 8, in, 0, 8 only. So, we can do it both the ways. Right? Now, the next is we have to find the predecessor of each of the following number. What is predecessor? The number that comes before. Right? Or it can also be obtained by subtracting 1 to the given number. Right? Now, suppose we have to find out the predecessor of 100. The predecessor of a given number is 1 less than the given number. Right? So, I'll write 1's, 10's, 100. I'll write 100 minus 1. Right? So, I'll 1's, 10's, 100. I'll write 100 minus 1. Right? So, I will take 1 from here. This will be 10. 10 minus 1 will be 9. So, this will become 9 and this will become 0. So, here will be 9. So, my answer is 99. 
right and if you want to cross check you will cross check that what what comes before 1900 that is 99 right now b part is we have to find the predecessor of 5693 right i will again write ones tens hundred thousand right the predecessor of the number is one less than the given number that is i'll write 3 under 1's place, 9 under 10's place, 6 under 100 place, 5 under 1000 place. And then I will subtract 1, that is 1, 2, 3, minus 1. So that, uh, how much, if I subtract 1, what will be remaining? 1 and 2. That is, I will write 2 here. Right? 9 is 9, 6 is 6, 5 is 5. So my predecessor of 5, 6, 9, 3 will be 5, 6, 9, 2. Right? Now, next is my skip counting. Suppose we write some numbers with a fixed cap between two successive numbers. Then such a counting is known as skip counting. Right? Now, counting by twos means that there is a gap of two between every two successive number. And similarly, counting by five means that there is a gap of five between every two successive number and so on. Right? Now, if you want to find... Uh, if you there's one example which says counting by 20s write four numbers from 8 to 4 1 onward right now counting by 20s that means you have to add 20 right and you uh, you have to write four numbers your number should start from 8 to 4 1 right so if you start your number from 8 to 4 1 and you'll add 20 you'll write one stands 100000 you will write one stands 100 thousand that is one will come under one's place four will come under tens place two will come under hundred place and eight will come under thousand place now you have to add 20 so one plus zero will be one four plus two four five six that will my six will come here two s two and eight s eight right so my first number is eight two four one what will be my next number eight two six one right now again i'll add 20 so i'll do plus 20 so 1 plus 0 is 1 6 plus 2 is 6 7 8 so i'll write 8 here 2 is 2 8 is 8 so my third number is 8 2 8 1 right now again i'll add 20 that is 1 plus 0 is 1 8 9 10 so i'll write 0 here 1 is a carried over 2 plus 1 is 3 so I'll write 3 here and 8 as 8. So my next number is 8301. Right? Again if I'll add 20, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 as 3 and 8 as 8. So my next number is 8321. Right? Now we have another example which says counting by 1000. Write 5 numbers from 981 onwards. It says you have to count by 1000. Right? That is, you have to add 1000 every time. And your number will start from 981. And how many numbers you have to write? 5. Right? So, starting from 981, we go on adding 1000. So, I will write 1 stands 100,000. I will write 1 stands 100. So, I will write 1 under 1's place, 8 under 10's place, 9 under 100 place. And I have to add 1000. So, I will write 0, 0, 0 and 1. If I'll add 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 plus 0 is 8, 9 plus 0 is 9 and 1 is 1. So my first number is 981 because I have to start from 981. If I'll add 1000, my next number would be 1981, right? Now again if I'll add 1000, so what will be my this number? 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 plus 0 is 8, 9 plus 0 is 9, 1 plus 1 is 2. So my next number is 2981. Right now, again, if I have to add thousand, I'll write plus one zero zero zero. So one plus zero is one. If I'll add these, eight plus zero is eight, nine plus zero is nine, two plus one is three. So my next number is three nine eight one. Now, again, if I'll add thousand, that is one plus zero is one, eight plus zero is eight, nine plus zero is nine, three plus one is four. So my next number is four nine eight one. Right now, there is few question which we can do as the homework. Exercise 3, page number 25, question number 17, A, B, C, D, E part, question number 18, A, B, C, F, G, H part, question number 19, A part, question number 20, A part, question number 21, A part, question number 22, B part, question number 23, A, B, C, D part.
and we'll share the solution with you soon thank you take care